be bets and analysis Tuesday, August 20th, guys. We are back in action. Sorry for missing out the last couple of days with the free YouTube show. I've had some personal things going on that couldn't make the show, but my promise for this week is I'm going to have a video every single day this week, Tuesday through Friday, and potentially Saturday for the first day of football. If I don't do it Saturday, I'll do it Friday for Saturday's episodes and get you guys the place. That is what I'll do for you guys for not having a show yesterday or Friday. Last week, negative week, went two and five all around. First negative week in the last five weeks. It happens onward and forward, guys. Not somebody that pretends I'm going to win all the time. Losses do happen. I'm transparent about it. My main focus is to profit this week. And yesterday, we started it off with a banger, Mets money line. And I know I didn't create the YouTube show, guys, but I did post this play for free in my Instagram, AF Sports. As you guys can see right here, it's my Instagram. I posted it live before the game started, and I also did a giveaway. So because I didn't do my YouTube show, I posted it for free on Instagram. If you didn't get that play on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. Because whenever I don't do it for free on YouTube, I will do it for free on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. That way you don't miss any of the plays. And Mets Moneyline went one, guys. And today I have a big winner for you guys. Another $5,000 play. You guys are probably used to seeing $3,000 plays. But yesterday we had a big $5,000 winner. Today we have one as well. Um, and I can't wait to get to it right now. Now, before I start the show, guys, if you guys are learning, if you guys are growing, if you guys are winning, if you guys enjoy the show, please share the show to a buddy. That's all I ask for. Like this video and shoot a comment below. Um, if you like the show, post something positive. If you don't like it, put something negative. I don't care. Give me feedback. Feedback is the way we grow and I have no ego. I will learn from it. So let's get to today, guys. Game of the day. So I got two games for today that I have lined up. First one's Baltimore versus New York Mets. Yesterday, guys, Mets was a clear winner. I discussed it in my community. Big winner. Everything checked off. They were home. The better pitcher, better OPS, better OBP. Um, the line favored them as well. Bullpen favored them as well. Everything favored the Mets, and that's why it was a $5,000 play rather than a $3,000 play. Now, today, guys, my line for this game was minus 110, minus 110. Obviously, I respect Baltimore Orioles. And currently, the line is sitting at minus 120, and Orioles are at plus 100. Now, when we pull up OBP and OPS, guys, right now, the Mets are currently sitting third over the last seven days when it comes to OPS. O OPS, and they're currently sitting 10th when it comes over the last 15 days. Now, in both scenarios, Baltimore Orioles is behind them. Now, a key factor to today's games is the following. It's a lefty versus a righty. And typically, I like to see how teams are doing versus lefty and righties over the last five games, which Covers.com gives you that information for free in the bottom right here with us stats analysis. So, over the last five games, guys, Baltimore has been struggling a little bit against lefty compared to how the Mets are hitting righties right now. Mets... Currently at the top of OPS, hitting righties better. Now let's look at matchups, guys, to see if anything stands out, if there's any pitcher that has been seen by the other team a lot. And in my opinion, it's rather even. It's a small little edge for Baltimore. Slater has hit a home run and an RBI on him, and they have four to five RBIs on Quintana, whereas New York Mets have around three RBIs. So nothing too significant now. A big thing here is Kramer's coming back from an injury. He hasn't pitched all season. He's been a little bit shaky, and so has Quintana, right? Let's not pretend Quintana hasn't been shaky by no means his last couple of games. He struggled a little bit, right? Three, five, four earned runs over his last few games. Now, we do know that he does pitch a little bit better at home than he does away, and the splits tell us that right here. Dean Kramer, guys, he's a pitcher that has tendencies of getting blown up. Last game, he did it against Washington, but this is another beast that he's playing in the Mets that are hot. But prior to that, he had off games. Now, does he do better away or at home small data because he came back from an injury rather the same he does do a little bit better away with a 4.15 era now one key thing about this game guys is vegas has kramer giving up more runs in this game slight as a slight favor we could pull this up right here in score and earn runs right over two and a half for quintana even over two and a half for dean kramer minus 121 so a slight edge there nothing too significant but it is a little bit of an edge and i always talk about this you're never going to see a huge edge and if you do i mean it typically doesn't make sense and it could be a trap but this game is composed of small edges small edges win you the game long term guys and these are little small edges that i'm discussing that could have a huge impact on this game now one last thing i want to talk about here too is the line guys the line and the money splits for this game. So when we look at the money splits right now for this game, minus 130 is what the line typically said it opened at. Minus 125 to minus 130 for the New York Mets. Now the line has pushed down a bit, but it's not reverse line movement because as you guys can see right here, 
all the money and all the support is going to Baltimore Orioles, a good amount of it. So the line should be moving that way because all the support's going to Baltimore Orioles. Now, I'm here to tell you that if that line pushes up to minus 125, minus 130, minus 135, then that is a clear sign of reverse line movement and sharp movement because there's less money on the team, yet the line's pushing in their favor. So in my opinion, Mets right there are a big play altogether, guys. It stands out. Now, second game that I will be touching on right here is Braves versus Philadelphia Braves have had an unlucky season guys they did just lose um, Austin Riley they lost Acuna they lost Arcia um, they've lost a couple players maybe not Arcia I forgot who it was that they lost recently but they've lost three key players um, and today they're facing Zach Wheeler now most people are going to jump on Philadelphia Phillies and we can see this right here with the money and support right money and support is all going to Philadelphia Phillies right now 89% of the handles 76% of the bets is going to Philadelphia Phillies that line opened up at minus 135 it's pushed down a little bit now the big factor that I'm going to talk about is the man the man the man and the myth and the legend Reynaldo Lopez guys this guy is stellar at home. He is 4-1 with a 1.74 ERA at home, guys. That stands out to me. Along with that, the money's going out to Philadelphia, yet the line hasn't really uh, pushed too much. And on top of that, you'd expect against Zach Wheeler, which I've, I'm a big fan of Zach Wheeler, guys. I think he's the best pitcher in the league. But you'd expect Zach Wheeler to be underdog to give up more runs. And altogether, it's pretty even, right? Reynaldo Lopez is... Uh, over two and a half at plus 115 Zach Wheeler's at plus 120 now that is a small edge still a little bit to Zach Wheeler but nothing too significant there Braves are at home both teams are arrested did not play yesterday both bullpens are arrested Atlanta has one of the best bullpens in the league altogether and right now when we look at OBP and OPS as well Atlanta Braves is currently sitting fourth so to me guys this is a big winner for the Braves catching them at plus money with an even pitching matchup yes they are suffering through injuries but this is going to be a pitching game the best pitcher is going to win the game and bullpen matters and Atlanta Braves has a better bullpen right now so I like the Braves in that game now let's go and take the main play for today guys so you guys see it currently here in the Hard Rock app as you guys can see um, Orioles versus Mets one game that I was talking about Atlanta versus Phillies now I'm going to be taking the Mets again, guys, and I am taking them for $5,000 again. So $5,000 to win $4,000 is my play. Mets money lines, guys, another big winner for today. $5,000 to win $4,000. Bet has been placed. Now, along with that, too, guys, if you guys don't know, I am working towards getting funded. And this is Sports Bet Funding, the shirt that I'm wearing right here. And what they do is if you pass two months worth of challenges, you get to keep an account, whichever account you choose, and keep 80% of the profit. So yesterday, guys, um, I did take the Mets in this account. First day that I took the Mets or any play in a $50,000 account that I got. Let me see if I, where the open bets are, reports, history. So you guys see it. So yesterday, I took Mets, 5000 to win 3751 And today, I'm going to do the same thing. If I get to 30% profit in less than 20 days, then I can move on to phase two. I was close to getting funded last week, and last week blew it for me. So I restarted it again, and we're here to find the Mets. Mets money line, taking them for 5000 Okay, guys, so I've placed a bet in the funded account. Mets money line, $5,000 to win 4166 in this account. And in the Hard Rock, as you guys saw, 5000 to win 4000 in the Hard Rock app. Mets money line is a play today. Let's make it 2-0 to start the week, guys. And as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying, learning, growing, whatever, the, whatever you guys are finding valuable, please share the show. That's how we grow it, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.